Good day, I'm Dr. Stephen Bernstein, and today I'm presenting our work on intradetrusor botulinum toxin A for the treatment of overactive bladder and neurogenic detrusor overactivity in women. This is a pilot study employing protocols using fewer injection sites. My affiliations and disclosures are as noted. It's well known that overactive bladder is extremely common. It's also well accepted that treatment with botulinum toxin A can markedly improve the quality of life by reducing the symptoms associated with both OAB and NDO. Discomfort during these injections, however, may compromise patient persistence on therapy and therefore the long-term efficacy of treatment. There's also concern about the rate of urinary tract infections associated with 20 injection sites with botulinum toxin. Our study is a pilot retrospective chart review of patients with both OAD, OAB and NDO who underwent treatment with botulinum toxin. We began with a protocol using 20 different sites as described in the package insert. Using this protocol, 100 units of botulinum toxin A are prepared in 10 cc's of preservative free saline. This is administered to 20 sites in the posterior bladder wall with approximately 0.5 cc's per injection. Our protocol then evolved to a three site protocol. Again, 100 units of botulinum toxin in 10 cc's of saline. Using this protocol, three different sites were treated using approximately 3.3 cc's at each site. Our protocol then evolved to a single site protocol. Again, the 100 units of botulinum toxin is prepared, this time in six cc's of saline. This is administered to a single site in the posterior bladder wall. Importantly, all patients were scheduled for retreatment at six months after their botulinum treatment. The patients were then allowed to adjust this treatment interval based on their response to therapy. This short video shows our treatment using the single site injection method. We're using a rigid cystoscope in a female patient. We've identified a relatively avascular spot in the posterior wall. The botulinum toxin is then infused very slowly. Uh, this is a period of about 30 seconds. You can see the bleb develop nicely uh, as the procedure moves on. And the total treatment time is approximately 30 seconds. You can also see the palm withdrawal of the needle that there's very little bleeding uh, based on this one single site injection. In terms of outcome measures, we looked at both efficacy and safety. Our primary efficacy outcome endpoint was the number of patients with improvement greater than 50% as reported by the patient at the two week post procedure check. Our secondary outcome was the treatment interval as again, the patients were allowed to adjust their treatment based on the response to therapy. In terms of safety, we looked at urinary tract infection rate, we measured post void residual volumes, and we looked at clinically significant bleeding. We evaluated a total of 152 patients who underwent treatment with 100 units of botulinum toxin. 100% of our patients were female with a mean age of 64 years. 93% carried a diagnosis of OAB and 7% carried a diagnosis of NDO. In terms of efficacy, we noted greater than 50% improvement in 33% or one of three patients in the 20 site cohort. We noted improvement of greater than 50% in 93% of the patients in the three site cohort and 85% in the single site cohort. In terms of mean tre treatment uh, interval, we measured 6.8 months in the three site cohort and 7.3 months in the single site cohort. The difference between these two cohorts was statistically significant. Importantly, there were no meaningful differences in efficacy or treatment interval between the OAB and NDO groups. In terms of safety, we looked at urinary tract infection rate. We did see two urinary tract infections of the three patients in the 20 site cohort, and we measured 11% UTI rate in the three site cohort and a 9% infection rate in the single site cohort. This difference in the reduced sites of injections is statistically significant. We also measured post-void residual. The mean residual in the 20 site cohort was 181 cc's. In the three site cohort, it was 109 cc's. And in the single site cohort, it was 93 cc's. Importantly, no patient required de novo catheterization after treatment with botulinum toxin. Also importantly, we did have one episode of significant bleeding requiring catheterization and overnight hospitalization. This occurred in the 20 site cohort. In conclusion, our results for protocols using fewer injection sites are promising. We showed that the treatment 
efficacy was not reduced by reducing the number of treatment sites. We also showed a tendency toward longer treatment intervals as we reduced the number of injection sites. We did show superior safety in terms of lower urinary tract infection rate compared to the reported literature, and we saw no significant bleeding in patients with reduced injection sites. We believe that a protocols using fewer than the standard 20 injection sites may improve patient satisfaction and, therefore, the long-term persistence on therapy. We also respectfully suggest that adequately powered, randomized, controlled, multi-center studies be performed to further explore these favorable findings. Thank you very much.